just going to make a short video here on how to set up your data logger with the uh, TDN app and your RTD device or your MPVI. Basically, just uh, you should be able to follow the taps on the screen. Just click on data log, view and sync files. In this case, we have two vehicles. We're going to pick this one. That was already actually selected, but we're just going to pretend for the first time like this. Select it and then sync files. You're going to let it do this part. If it doesn't sync properly, it will not grab the proper logger config and the, the log will be no good. The default PIDs don't grab any uh, valid info for the swaps. So we have to make sure we pick mm -hmm. the config that you've been sent. And once this part is done, we'll be able to start data logging. The key is on with my vehicle right now. And then I just went back to data logger and then I should be able to start. Once you select it, it will stay selected from here on out so there's no reason to go back in here and do this and the gauges on the front end will stay the same they will not change to my config unfortunately that's some areas where HP tuners is lacking so right now it is recording and we're just gonna pretend we're done our drive stop it and then go back to view and sync files oops not that one. And there's the new log right there. You have to kind of go back and forth with it. Just another little funny glitch. And then tap the upload button. And then hit the sync button in the bottom. This is sending the log over to me. And when you do this, it does not notify me or email me yet. These are all on list of wants I have in with HP tuners. So that log is now gone to me. And that is it. You can carry on with tuning, flashing, you know, disconnect, whatever you want to do. But those are the steps to do it. It's a little bit quirky, but the more you use it, the more you'll get the hang of it. And the nice thing is no laptop. And then I have the information that I need. All right. Thank you.